Rosie, there's nothing fluffy about brunch. You really need to deliver something because brunch is often the meal you have when you first get up, so your body is just craving for energy. So you need to deliver some energy. None of this fluffy stuff. If you tried any of that vegan stuff with me, my body would shut down completely. I can guarantee you that. Now, what I'm going to do is show you my favourite hash. Now, to start with, I've got some potato here, and this is a par-cooked potato. So mm -hmm. it's been in a, a pot of cold water, and we've brought it up to the boil and let it sit there. Or it can be one of your boiled potatoes left over from the day before, which is more the case. What I'm going to do is cut it into quarters here, leaving the skin on, which I know you're going to love because apparently there's something called nutrition and the skin has a lot of that in it. Certainly like does, there certainly we does. We so like that fibre. There's a big tick for me already. Even yeah. though it's not fluffy, it's still got lots of goodness about it. And at the moment, it is still a vegan dish, isn't it? <laughs> well, at the moment, anyway. It won't be for very, very long. Now, what I'm going to do is put some extra virgin olive oil into the pan. I'm going to turn that up to maximum velocity and pop the potatoes in. What I want to do is brown them off. Now what I've got here is some mushrooms. Yes. I want you to, uh, to give me little wedges of those mushrooms. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to add a few of my favourite ingredients to my brunch. Now if you came around to my place and I was doing the, the killer brunch, I would add some of this. Some the lovely... bottomless brunch as they're calling yeah, it now, exactly. is that it? Well this is the type of brunch you would get out of bed, you would make this, spend a bit of time making it because it is quite important that you do spend a bit of time on looking after your body. And then of course... Self-care Sunday. You would go straight back to bed with it with a food coma. Right. That's the idea. That right. makes you feel feel lovely. Now I've got some lovely smoky bacon here and this is bacon that's nice and thick cut. It's a great idea if you've got some leftover bacon just to cut it nice and thick like that. And this is gorgeous stuff. In it goes. But it's not going to be the hero, I can guarantee you, because I've got some beautiful bacon over there which I'm going to show you all about. Now what I do is I throw that into there and I'm going to give it a bit of a toss and you can already see there's a little bit of brownage going on the side yep. there. Now what I'm going to do is just give that a little bit of a turn with my spoon here. So I want to get some of those brown edges down into the bottom of the pan and that's what's going to give it the colour. Now if you wanted to, Rosie, what you could do is with the back of the spoon just give it a bit of a smash like this and that crushes it down. You can have it nice. chunky or you can have it hashed up like this or smashed. It's up to you. Could you grate it? You could and that's where hash comes from. Hash browns are grated potatoes. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of uh, garlic to keep Ooh, those yes. vampires away. And I'm not even going to chop it nice and fine. I'm just going to throw it in like this because it is a lovely brunch dish. Look at that. Yep. Now you've chopped that. I've got some yep. parsley and some spring onions. I want to chop that as well. You've got it. And I've got a little bit of sausage here and you can use any sort of sausage that's left over. Over maybe some lamb sausage or, or beef veggies, sausage. Veggie or, tofu sausage. Exactly, or even a little bit of salami. I love using salami as well in my cooking. Now I've got some onion here. I'm just going to take the core out of it. And the reason I take the core out of it is because I want that onion to fall apart when it cooks. I want it all to right. go all the way through it. So I slice it like that and let it hit the pan. Because traditionally hash is very oniony, isn't it? It's got a nice oniony texture. Well, I've made it before with uh, with grated potato and chopped onion and a little mm. bit of ham in there as well. It makes it really, really nice. Now what I've got is some chilli here and I've sort of emptied the fridge and pulled everything out I possibly can to put Perfect. in there. A little bit of chilli in there. We're simulating a Bloody Mary with a bit of spice. So in that goes as well. Now I can add the mushrooms and what I'm going to do is sprinkle them over the top here and let them fry up nicely. Mm. And what I'm going to do is give that a little bit of a toss like that yeah. and you can see that frying action's going on. While that's happening, mm. I'm going to grab some of this black pepper bacon, which is beautiful bacon. Yeah. I've been to the factory here and I've met Max who makes all this stuff. In fact, he grinds every single one of these peppercorns individually. You believe that? Your daily vitamins exactly. right there, isn't it? Now what mm. I'm going to do is peel the bacon off like this and pop it into my pan here and get it sizzling away. In a couple of minutes, the bacon will crisp up and my hash will be cooked nicely and golden brown. And what I'm going to do is pop a couple of eggs on the side here, then we'll add some herbs to it, and I'll make the brunch of champions. OK, Rosie, have a look at this. The hash is nice and golden brown, and I add some green. This is the beautiful stuff, the green stuff that the makes good it stuff. That is nice the good and stuff. healthy, doesn't it? Here we yeah. go. Talking of the green oh, stuff, I actually, uh, I think you might have just forgotten me, so I'm going to. Uh, I didn't forget about you, Rosie. I put that over. Well, I thought maybe you can have a vegan breakfast, and a vegan breakfast consists of one avocado and some herbs to garnish it. What do you think? Look, oh. it doesn't, but I will. <laughs> 
I will take you up on your very generous offer. I don't know. I've read it somewhere that that's what vegans eat. So I thought, you know, I'll just go out of my out of my little comfort zone oh, and have that ready for you. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, look at that. You're look, look, the avocado does look beautiful. But I can tell you something, Rosie. It does not have one single piece on my brunch. The bacon and the egg have come together beautifully. I'm going to slide it all wow. off onto the plate there. And just to make sure I don't miss out on any of that flavour, in here with the butter and the peppercorn and the bacon juice and the egg juice, I'm just going to make sure that goes on top there like that, just to make it tasty. Take a deep breath, slow right down and just think about the delicious brunch you're about to eat. And some sour cream on there because we do need lots of yeah. dairy in our diet as well. A little bit of sour cream on top. Now what I'm going to do is have a taste of this. I'm going to go straight, straight into the bacon and I'm just going to have a little taste of this bacon here with some mushroom and I want you to actually hear, hear the love and the excitement of my juices in my mouth. Mm. Look, Sunday you can do what you want. It's absolutely fine. But please don't do that every Sunday. You can try and justify it any way you want, but this is, has to be the best way to eat brunch in the morning. It is once a week, you have something like this. It is a big fry up. It is something that's gonna give you the energy for the rest of the day. And that bacon is sensational. Good man.